The Housewife Dilemma. Get your textbooks out, ladies. The sandwich is practical American institution. It is a basic essential for lunchboxes, parties, and picnics. As far as these boys are concerned, burrito, well, hamburgers and hot it's dogs hot are their dog. idea uh, of a really good <laughs> meal. A hot dog but there are sandwiches like a and sandwiches. When Sally Gasco and her mother bring guests home for a late snack after a movie, they have something special in the way of a sandwich in Sex. mind. Oh. Sally calls it tuna rare bit. Let's watch how she makes oh, it. Oh, God, a white people sandwich. She's going to put raisins in it next. This is a sandwich for forks. An open face creation, in other words. But then it's cheese, not really a fucking milk, sandwich. Tuna is it? fish mixture on top. The basis will be rye bread, mother's idea. She found that the this spicy caraway flavor it's made a good contrast to the bland fish and cheese. Sally Cardo puts a cube, good too. about a square inch, of butter into the top of a double boiler. A this little is, butter finds its way is, uh, into a great many it, dishes okay, in this notes, kitchen, class. not only for flavor, but as a blending yeah, agent. Good, whatever this is. Now to really get your tuna blandest, you want it straight from the can, filled with mercury. Part of the trick to entertaining unexpected guests like is dolphin. keeping on hand certain generally useful foods. One of these is cheese of an easy melting well, type, which Sally it. is going to use as a base for the rare bit. If you have unexpected guests, melting, she bedazzle them, <laughs> bamboozle the them with cheese. Mixture, while mother butters That's the how bread. you cut a white person, just put some cheese in, in a trap, or they'll come right for it. The simmer flame keeps the water boiling gently while the cheese is melting, so that Sally can go on to other tasks. She adds the canned chunk-style tuna fish, and notice that she uses a wooden Chunk spoon style. to avoid discoloration of the mixture. Although the tuna rare bit is fairly substantial well, food in itself, white, white it is a good is. idea to add something for variation in color and texture. These are carcinogenics. Mother is making a salad dish. Celery, radishes, olives, and pickles. Sally adds potato chips to the menu. They used to be exclusively picnic fare, but they've joined the host of useful accessory foods which make entertaining so much easier. And we'll allow it. The 1950s teenagers. will allow hey. you to eat chips outside a picnic. Oh, joyous day. The bread was toasted we, quickly we, we, in the broiler, we, we, and the rare bit is nearly ready to serve. Accessory foods. <laughs> I've never heard that term used, you mean, but... You mean a bag see. of potato chips isn't, isn't a beverage? full meal? If you get a sizzle white man to say it, it sounds like it's true. Or milk. When you can offer guests a choice easily, it's a gracious gesture. Would you like Coke or Coke? Now it's time to serve. <laughs> or Coke. Two slices of toast are neatly arranged on each plate. And the filling, or perhaps we should say covering, goes on top. If you say pop, we shoot you on sight. Sally knows you should serve cream dishes with extra caution. An effect of carelessness here is no asset. Mother is a great believer in the aesthetic value of parsley, and of course it's good to eat, too. And her secret sauce is really nice. Now a touch of Tabasco also for parsley. color and a taste surprise. And there's tuna rare bit a la Sally Gasco. Of Tabasco. That doesn't look As good said, at all. I want that hamburger. Sandwiches yeah. And sandwiches. I want a, a hamburger, wise young mom, homemaker not using good Tabasco techniques and sandwich. equipment and a little imagination we'll open can turn a sandwich into Can I just put the two fare. pieces together? Oh! Oh! You're ruining the flavor! You'll die! <laughs> <laughs>